Here's Michael again and alongside me is my Uncle Jack. We're the same age though, and therefore we're in the same school year. We're both 47 now. That's right. We were fairly close. We were like brothers in spite of each of us having many brothers. Us two however are the same age. Nothing changed. Indeed. We serve at a local fire department and the both of us are grandfathers now. Uncle Jack's story is a bit more eventful. Generally, people in our family tend to marry young. I did not marry as young as some others though. At marriage, I was 24 and my wife Olivia was 19. When I was 26, our daughter Holly was born. Life couldn't have been better. Sadly, things took a tragic turn eventually. Five years after our child's birth, Olivia died from a brain tumor. She was only 26. I was 31 and a widowed single father from now on. I thank God for giving me comfort though. As well as my family. My parents never gave up their support for me, nor did any of my siblings. I got support from my sisters Elvira and Lillian as well as my brothers James Leonard, Ralph, Daniel and Ron. And my nephews and nieces also. In this family, we stick together. There are some other families in the Easel County, North Carolina who live by that. Perhaps the most family-ish county in the entire USA. Four years after Olivia's death, I married Nina, a then 25-year-old woman from Canada's southeast. We met while I was on a trip to the Northern Appalachians in Maine. Our first child, our son Boaz, is now nearly 10 years old. Last year, my daughter Holly has given birth to a son named Oliver, and just this year, a few days after my nephew Patrick became a grandfather, my next child Josiah Bartholomew's been born. Life is really awesome even after all tragedy.